previously on Delos. We sailed down the wild coast with 40 knots of wind and a 6 knot current. And the ocean is beautiful. And hit our all time speed record, 17.5 knots. Approaching this big city, I found myself daydreaming, thinking back on all the incredible islands we visited in the last couple of months. And I asked myself the question, can you ever get tired of endless white sand beaches in crystal clear water? We'd been moving constantly for 13 months now, from one tropical island to the next. I absolutely love this cruising lifestyle, but I found myself longing for a long hot shower, see a movie in the cinema, have a dinner out, or just be able to take one step of the boat onto a dock without having to worry about the dinghy or anchoring. Don't understand me wrong here, the last few months had been an incredible journey. We had crossed the Indian Ocean. And I can honestly say that I've learned more about myself and life in the last few months than ever before. But it was time. I was ready to stay in one place for a few months. And the V&A Marina seemed like the perfect place. Smack bang in the middle of Cape Town. So this is our, our home here in Cape Town. Just on this dock. We have the motorcycle parked real close. We're so close to all the shopping. Beautiful apartments behind us where we can use their pool and their gym because we got hooked up. And sometimes we have a little seal blocking our way. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can find him. This is, this is our neighborhood, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's getting weird in the VA. For some reason, they come to our dock to mate and fight. <laughs> <laughs> Big boy's coming through. It's like the best zoo in the world. Christmas time in Cape Town. Luckily, this is the only time we ever get our storm drogue out. So let's hope that it stays out. It's gonna look a lot like Christmas. Swedish Christmas, which is on the 24th, and Marta and Karen have made a ridiculous spread of delicious foods, and I made some homemade Vingluk mold wine, so good. It's been a beautiful day of presents, and laughing, and music. Hey, don't the we lost and the lot of us, we're not here, 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 we're have a few beers at the top. I'm excited to do some physical activity. <laughs> Let's do it. How far is it? I have no idea. Oh, well, it should be like an hour and a half or an hour, somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. But it's all up. not climbing any hills and we've been eating and drinking a lot <laughs> so we're gonna do this once a week yeah <laughs> yeah right away <laughs> that was good Strawberry mint 
hot mojitos. Wow. Happy New Year. Noches from Cape Town. Good night. How do you feel, Mom? The day has come. Oh, it's been a great time being here, but oh, I'm so very not good at this leaving. <laughs> Makes me so sad. But I know I'll be back, so that's good. Yep, next yeah. year. <laughs> next year. <laughs> Maybe back in Cape Town. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. good. Though, huh? I'm not very good with goodbyes either. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. Mommy. You will be back. <laughs> Bro, you look decked out. Where are we going? We're going on a musical cave adventure, as I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> good Dylan, good, good morning, bro. Dylan found us through Instagram and decided to take us out for a little adventure. It's phase one of the adventure day. Ocean pool. Look how cold do you think that is, bro? It's gotta be I think it's one of the things where you just gotta go for it. <laughs> it's such a great swim though, man. Like you get out and you feel like Energized. <laughs> Whereabouts is the cave in relation to here? Up, right up. Like straight, straight up. up. Yeah. That is a solid group, man. Solid. <laughs> yeah. How's it going, Gaza? Oh, what a beautiful hike, man. Back down on my knees. We have found the cave. It's right there. So what's the intention here? To go as deep as we can. Okay. Okay, we're gonna have to back out. We have to back out. Shit, dude, which is the way out? <laughs> Check at the size of this thing inside here. How's it going, bro? Cool, huh? Hit the end, there's like a big cavern where like everybody's sitting around in a circle with like a candle and stuff. It's real chill. It was incredible to sit inside of this cave with this strange but awesome group of people. One guy started singing and everybody just tuned in. And the cave created this incredible reverb of all the sounds. Backpack. 
Yeah, bro. You don't have a lot of clearance with the backpack. No. <laughs> I'm like, hey, whoa. Check my back. Okay. okay. <laughs> I was like, uh. The light. Oh. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to keep going? Well, Action! Well, we just finished the walk and Karen's on her way back up. <laughs> <laughs> Look how fast her pants are. Look at that. These are my pants. They're fucking super cute. No, no, no. Show us the backpack. I think it's more the pack. Look at that pack. It's like, it's fast. How well, was that, guys? We lost everybody else, but we made it. This is a fucking intense walk, man. My legs, my legs hurt. It's six o'clock. Is it six o'clock? So we've been walking since ten. Well done. It was a good cave ceremony though. That uh, was really sweet. It was awesome. Cool But guys. now it's time for... Burgers and beers. Burgers and beers, bitches! Burgers and beers, bitches. Oh. Nice filming you. Ooh. How do you... How do you feel about Cape Town so far? <sighs> Cape Town's amazing. It's been the perfect place to spend the summer for, for us. It's got good weather. Cheap, amazing food, a nice marina. We've just been hanging out, enjoying it. There's a gym with a pool, and we've been doing lots of editing because we have electricity and good internet here. And when we're not out doing stuff, uh, we can do that. And then we head up in the afternoons to go lift weights and then take long, hot showers. So, yeah, not many complaints. I like it. What do you think? I think this was just kind of what we needed, you know, to stay in one place for a little bit and just kind of settle down, be able to walk off the dock, have long showers. We have walking distance to the supermarket and I can buy all the berries that I want, which is really cool. It's just, it's just been really special so far and I think it's only going to get better because Cape Town is like so much to explore. We've met so many cool people and yeah, this is just what we needed to be smack bang in the middle of the town for a little bit. I love this city, you know, and then I think after a few few months we'll be more than ready to go out and cruise again and see the islands. But for now this is perfect and the sun has been shining for weeks. This is Cape Town summer. It's awesome. Inviting some friends over. Really exciting. Yacht party, tourist party. Yacht party, tourist party. So, in honor to all our new friends and followers that we met here in Cape Town, we decided to throw a little Delos party. No, it's going really well, man. Just amazing people in Cape Town that are coming by and say hi that we don't even know. Pretty cool, huh? Lots of smiles, lots of love. Lots of goodness. I 
somehow got handed to a Oh, look at you, man! <laughs> <laughs> to meet these cool people from all walks of life having one thing in common their lost sailing videos such a humbling amazing experience <laughs> Another two months. And chill. Yeah. So I think over the last couple of months, both me and Brady and Brian have been kind of, all three of us have been contemplating if we should go towards the Caribbean and towards Brazil and kind of sail into the Atlantic or if we should sail back to the Indian Ocean. A couple of days ago when we sat and had some sushi, we kind of said, okay, we need to make a decision. And all of us kind of blurred out at the same time, like back to Madagascar, which is really exciting because all of us are kind of feeling the same thing. And I think some of the reasons why we really want to go back is because we've never been back to a place that we've been before. We're always moving forward. Now we just have to start planning for that and we can start thinking about it and I've kind of drawn up a little vision board or a vision map I guess with all the different routes and what our options are and stuff and that means that we get to go back to Madagascar which is just so cool and meet all the people that we met there last year and we also get to go back to South Africa. We have a few more months here in Cape Town to prepare and kind of get the boat ready and stuff for remote places sailing, so... Yeah, it was a good decision. I feel good about this, for sure. <laughs> and uh, the Indian Ocean is a very special place and I think it's a very cool opportunity to show some people what sailing on the ocean could be all about. So what we've decided to do is something a little bit different this year. We're actually going to run a uh, crew competition. So we're going to have people that we don't know uh, submit videos to us. And we're going to say, tell us why in 60 seconds or less you'd make the best Delos crew. And then we're going to watch through the videos and we're going to find people that we think have like a good passion and spirit for sailing. And then we're going to invite a few of those guys to come join us for some epic sailing in the Indian Ocean this next season. So we've never done it before, but uh, I think it's a good idea. I think we're going to meet some awesome people. So we had about 300 people. We had just over 300 entrants and it took us the better part of a week to look through them all. And they were all awesome and amazing and uh, really touching, just really very humbling for us to see all the energy that people put into these, it was so cool. And it was really difficult, but we finally managed to pick our top 10 favorites, and then we contacted each of those, and we had either like a little Skype call or a Facebook call with them, asked them a few random questions, and tried just to get a better idea of who we felt they were as people. And uh, then the other night we sat down and made some decisions, which was also very difficult. 
So as a tribute to our awesome time here in South Africa, we have picked three South African crew to sail with us here from Cape Town to Reunion, which is really exciting. And this is them. So we have Kirill and Dylan, which we met here in Cape Town and we kind of been hanging out with them a little bit and it lined up perfectly because they just quit their jobs and they want to go on an epic adventure. So the sailing to reunion is going to be the beginning of that. And these guys have never sailed before, but I think they're going to be perfect. We've got the basics done, a sense of humor and a sense of adventure. But when it comes to sailing, <laughs> And then we have Carmen. Carmen just seems amazing. A little bit about myself, I'm Carmen G. I'm a 22-year-old South African girl. Um, I love sailing and traveling. I also like surfing, skateboarding, making things. At the moment, I don't even have a job, so I wouldn't even have to give a leave. I'm literally just sitting at home making beautiful macrame dream catches. So my knot work is really good and I could even weave you guys a hammock or something. So please let me know if you think I'm cool and I'd love to join you guys. So I just woke up a little while ago and today is a really exciting day because our new crew is arriving. Beautiful day yeah. to start out on. Sweet. And yeah, on the love, didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. So, so. Life's down to three bags. Suddenly way too way too heavy, so we're gonna ditch quite a bit of it. Gotta figure out what camera gear to keep and what to get rid of as well. It's a tough call. Tough call. Right, Come on down, bro. Welcome aboard. Who do we got here? <laughs> Who is this? Oh, it's just another salty pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, bro. Thank you very much. This is me. <laughs> just back there in the love tunnel. <laughs> love tunnel. I'm going to make this love tunnel mine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bro, I'm getting gypsified. I haven't been gypsified in years. Hmm? He looks pretty. <laughs> you look pretty, baby. Oh, you're so pretty. She just called me her, her little sister. He's like my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud. That makes me happy. <laughs> so our new crew had arrived and it felt so good. We had about one week before setting sail towards Reunion, and it was time for a little shakedown cruise. Okay, well that one reached me. You may need to take some slack off the other end, bro. Okay, are we ready? We're ready. So it's a beautiful day, doing a sail after we just fueled. I thought about the question I asked myself arriving into Cape Town four months ago. Can you ever get tired of endless white sand beaches in crystal clear water? Sailing have taught me a lot of things, especially about balance in life. So I think yes, I believe you can get tired of endless white sand beaches. But after spending a few months living the city life in Cape Town, I got my dose of long hot showers and fancy dinners, and we're more than ready for another sailing adventure. Woo 
Wake yeah, it's up, half boys. past eight. Yeah, it's half past eight. We're going sailing. We have okay. to go check out. Okay. Three, two. Snoozers up. Ah. Good morning, sleepyhead. Kill the crew. Hello. <laughs> Time to wake oh, up, bro. Mr. Oh, nice voice, man. What's going on there? <laughs> that, was, that was three hours of sleep. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> we just bought all the fresh vegetables and fruit for the boat. So check it out downstairs. It looks really nice. We a lot of good stuff. Check it out. Oh, yum. That looks good. So, here we are. We are here. Cape Town. And <laughs> our goal is to get over here. Le Reunion. Okay, so there's a couple of interesting things about this sail that we're going to talk about because it's not just a trivial kind of straightforward sail. There's the big gnarly Agulas current that runs down here and it's a huge current like up here it runs like five knots six knots it can be gnarly um, so what our tactic will probably be is to cross the current here and then we'll just pretty much head dead east as far as we can so instead of sailing like this we'll sail like this until we get into those southeasterlies and once we once we get there then we'll be able to make our turn so it's it's more sailing miles but it's sailable instead of beating we should have better conditions and so that's the plan guys all the checking we're, going, out is done, we're right? going sailing we're checked out we got fresh veggies we're full yeah. of fuel you ready for some sailing <laughs> yeah. how much sailing have you guys done uh not the harbor a couple of times <laughs> Killer Krill practicing yeah. his bowlings. Yeah, those oh. are getting tight. And those other ones, what are they called? Spaghetti. Half hitches. <laughs> yeah, <that> Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti. Yeah, so really as can be. Yeah. Mate, we're leaving in like 30 minutes and the last two items on the to-do list. Yeah. That was six <laughs> months of work, bro. Yeah. Ooh. All right, guys. All right. What do you say? I'm ready to go. Last Some meal. Sickness tablets <laughs> taken. <laughs> Last meal for probably a while. Yeah, this might come out. <laughs> yeah, it's all soft Try. food. I think we just got to unplug from Doc Power. Yeah, we and filled up with some water. Yeah, we're filled out. Dip sticks down. So. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Up ah, next. We set sail for a union. How excited is everybody? Woo! <laughs> the darkness, we can't even see out there. Thought some pretty gnarly weather in a small port. Holy. 51, huh? It's wild out there. And cross the infamous Agulas Karan. Like it? I like it a lot. That guy is fucking crazy. Is that where the blowjobs are? Yeah, I'll be doing 2050! 50! Yeah! Oh. Oh, Brian, how fast are you heading? Oh, yeah. Oh. Burn, burn. He's a good burn. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> you caught me the wrong time, wait. Okay, but you can edit this, eh? Yeah, of course. Okay, you want to learn some Afrikaans? Yeah. Kiss my cunt. <laughs> what, is that? what does that mean? It means choose my side. Okay. Dude, I reckon you could stick like a computer oh. to that. <laughs> <laughs> no way! <laughs>